Aloha and welcome back. This is Jen of Little C's Creations. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this adorable laundry basket that I purchased at Target, I believe. Anyways, I wanted it to have the word laundry on there and I could not find any baskets. Oh, I remember I got it from Home Goods. Okay, so I'm going to make my own little wording on the basket so that it can say laundry <laughs> and I was copying my girlfriend's laundry in her guest room my girlfriend Noi so anyways I'm using heat transfer vinyls so you have to put the vinyl on backwards on your cutting mat and on the machine on the program you need to put your words backwards as well and you can see that with a click, I can instantly reverse it. Um, so when I first typed it up, it was the normal way. And then I just clicked the button to change it to have it go reversed. Now I'm about to cut on my vinyl. So I'm changing the preset to vinyl. And then it automatically changes the speed and the pressure. I'm going to keep the multi cut to two times which means it's just gonna cut over the same cut twice just to make sure that it cuts properly or cuts correctly and then now I'm just going to press cut and my machine is going to start cutting okay so now that it's done cutting I cut the part where just the words are at so I cut that piece off and then now I am weeding through the pieces that I don't need. So I'm using my tweezer and a paper piercer. I apparently brought out, I thought I might need it, but you're going to see that I don't actually use it. Um, just kind of pulling it off and pulling the vinyl apart. I'm just gonna trash this and as I'm pulling it off I'm thinking to myself how much I am wasting <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take my tweezers now and then take out all the pieces that's not supposed to be there so basically removing all the parts that will cause pukas for my letters pukas mean holes okay and this is pretty much done so it's still on the plastic sheet that it came with and here is my laundry basket that I am going to iron on. Okay, so I sped up this part of the video and don't laugh because <laughs> I am actually using a craft iron. It's a mini iron and it took forever. That's why I had to speed up this video. I actually sped it up two times faster um, we had just moved into our home in November and I'm actually doing this in January because my mother-in-law is coming to visit and I've got to get it done. I don't have a iron yet so I'm using um, my mini iron and it's actually um, very small and it doesn't heat up as fast as a regular iron um, so you're gonna see that I go over the letters quite some time and um, I'm just I, I kind of peeled it off a little bit and saw that it didn't stick to the material so as you can see I peel it off and look and check so it's just going back and forth I'm always adding, um, always putting that paper just in case I don't want to melt that plastic. I'm not sure. I don't think you can just apply an iron no matter how small it is. <laughs> but yeah, this takes some time, maybe about 45 minutes total had I not um, sped this part up then it'll probably take a while in my other hand I'm actually holding a heat resistant um, plastic sheet those are the ones that you put into an oven and under that between that and my hand is a cloth microfiber cloth just so um, so I didn't have to feel the heat 
and I think I probably would have had a harder time had I used a real iron but I don't know this kind of worked out it did what it had to do and I was able to finish my project before my in-laws arrived in February but I'm done I'm gonna now peel it off and you're gonna see that my sparkly letters are now ironed on to my laundry basket here it is complete and all done and now a picture to show you that it is in our guest room thanks for joining me have a blessed day in Jesus bye now <laughs>